Notice there is no one-size-fits-all method for how to handle your life. You should always consult with a trained, licensed professional appropriate to the decision you need to make. Medical, legal, financial, nutritional, religious, or other professionals should be consulted before making a life-altering decision. Use information from this course at your own risk. Hello and welcome to How to Manage Your Monkey. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr. And today we're going to talk a little bit more about saving money on groceries. And there's going to be some redundancies to what we told you last time. But uh, we think it's important that you hear it again. But first, a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for all of our YouTube watchers, all of our blog readers and blog followers, all those people that we've met via the blogs and the YouTube channels, all the publicists we've met and uh, authors we've met, uh, all these different people that we've come in contact with. Please pour out your blessings on them and uh, any of the viewers that uh, are seeking to find you. Please help them to find you. It's in Christ, most holy and most precious name that we pray. Amen. Well, one of the most uh, adjustable or variable expenses you'll have in your budget is groceries. And there are several ways to save on groceries, and we're going to have a small series of uh, videos and uh, posts about saving money on groceries. But kind of recap, the very first thing you want to do is to make a list. And if you've saved your grocery receipts for the past several trips, that will help. Get out your grocery receipts and go down them. Most of them list the, the name of the items. Go down the, the list and make you a master grocery list of the things that you normally buy and the prices that you paid for them. And when you do this, you're going to want to set you up uh, Google Sheets is a great one because you can access that from your cell phone, your smartphone, uh, um, from your tablets and all that sort of thing um, without having to transfer files back and forth. So set you up a Google Sheets. If you don't know how, um, drop me an email and I'll try to explain it to you. Um, but anyway, if you list in the first column, quantity, the second column, the name of the uh, item, and then the, the next few columns, the different stores that you normally shop at. Let's say you shop at uh, store A, store B, and store C. Uh, list the prices of the last time, what, what it was going for the last time you were in that store. Now, over time, you're going to develop a master list of the different uh, items that you buy. And you can keep an eye out by watching the, your um, local store circulars to see what's on sale, how much they're on sale for. And uh, you can kind of adjust your list and make your uh, uh, master grocery list or make your um, shopping list based on what's on sale and what you have coupons for. Now coupons are one of those things you want to try to avoid uh, where you use coupons strictly because you have a coupon. If you find a coupon for an item that you needed to buy anyway or an item that will substitute for something you were going to buy anyway, that's great. If you find a rebate on an item that you were going to buy anyway or um, will substitute for something you're going to buy anyway, that's great. But don't buy something just because you have a coupon or a rebate. And don't buy more than what you would normally use um, just because you have a coupon or a rebate. If normally you would only use uh, one in a year, don't go buy two so you can use a coupon. That doesn't make sense. Um, in the long run, it costs you money to do that. But do pay attention to the sales. Another thing you're going to want to do is you want to take, once you have your master list, go into the store, the different stores, uh, sort of reconnaissance visits. You know, you have those little odds and ends you need to pick up from time to time. Every time you go into a store, do a little bit of reconnaissance. Take some time and look to see what is the current price for the different items on your master list and kind of keep it updated that way. Another thing to do is to go in the store, usually early mornings works good, to go into the store and talk to the meat manager, the produce manager, um, manager over bakery or deli, and uh, find out when different items go on sale for clearance. Because quite frankly, um, there are a lot of items that are pretty good. They're still in date. Uh, they're just getting close to going out of date. Um, if you go ahead and buy them and you know, cook them when you get home or freeze them when you get home or what have you, they'll be good. Um, we found that's a great way to save that uh, the meat manager at uh, well, back home in uh, South Carolina, the meat manager at the Bilo, he had a certain day of the week that he put, uh, he cleared through his cases of different uh, 
types of meats like pork he would go through one day beef he would go through another day chicken he'd go through another day and uh, he put them on clearance because um, he would put out the fresh of each thing um, throughout the week and as the things got to be expired or were getting close to their um, sell-by date you mark them down and he'd tell us okay for this type of meat you want to come in early morning on such and such a day on this type of meat you want to come in early morning on such and such a day and so let's say you you know you want to have some pork roast in your uh, menu for the next uh, few weeks so you go in on pork day and you buy the markdown pork roast and uh, you do that with your produce manager, your bakery uh, items, that sort of thing. And it really does save money on your groceries doing that. Another thing to do is to shop online, go into the different stores, uh, pricing items. Uh, a, a lot of grocery stores now will have a list of the items that they have and what they cost uh, in the store. Um, you can also find uh, sale circulars online and do a little reconnaissance that way. And... In your spreadsheet, put what the different uh, items are selling for uh, or on sale for at that point in time. Plug it in so that uh, you get a itemized total or a total of each grocery store uh, where you're going to buy this stuff. I will show you that uh, in future videos how to do that. But uh, that way you can kind of compare between the, the two or three different stores which place will give you an overall um, savings. Back home, um, years ago, a grocery store called Ingles had the Ingles Challenge. And they would invite you to go and shop at your regular store and buy all the items on your grocery list and then come and buy the same items from Ingles and see if overall you didn't save money. And, you know, they were so confident that uh, they wanted to challenge you on this and I actually did the challenge and they really were cheaper um, compared to the grocery stores that we uh, normally shopped at. But people are creatures of habit, and so you know you need to decide what's best for you. Is being shopping out of your element, uh, a store you're not used to, is that uh, better for your budget? Um, do you feel better when you're shopping? That sort of thing. But when you shop with a list, stick with your list. If you go in and you say, oh, look, those uh, cookies are on sale, for, uh, uh, a penny off or 10 cents off or whatever, and you load your buggy up with those, you haven't saved any money. So... Commit everything to your list. If you go from your master list of all the different things that you normally buy, then uh, when you're making out your grocery list, you'll have a good idea of what it's going to cost you. And you shouldn't need to deviate from your list at all because when you're in the store, um, remembering at the last minute what, uh, what you need is not a good idea because you may be remembering wrong. You may have uh, 14 cans of tuna on the shelf and you're thinking that you're out, that sort of thing. So kind of get you a, keep you a running inventory at the house, keep, um, organize your pantries and organize your refrigerator where there's a place for everything and everything in its place so that things don't get missed. And uh, shop like that. Shop using coupons. Um, there are several different rebate apps, uh, Ibotta and a few others. If you look on our website, you'll, you'll find. Um, also some scanning apps, which we'll tell you about in uh, different uh, videos. I think we already listed that one time before. But these are ways of saving money and actually making a little bit of money sometimes. There are times when we've uh, left the grocery store where they owed us money. That's very uh, rare and few and far between. And we're not talking about doing extreme couponing because if you go and you buy stuff just because you have coupons and can save, you're not doing yourself any good. You're just taking up space in your house uh, unless you donate that to charities. If you have any ideas, any questions or comments, please drop us an email over at gindysvideos at gmail.com. That's G-I-N-D-Y-S-V-I-D-E-O-S at gmail.com. Like us if you would, and please subscribe to this channel if you would. And we thank you. Gindy. What? Where's your beard, Gindy? Uh, I shaved it. Oh, okay. We'll talk about that in another video. Okay, Gindy. Uh, anyway, I, 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 I save money on groceries all the time. How do you do that? I'll let you buy them. <laughs> that works. 
Yeah, uh, other people's money. That's the way to do it, people. If you can get somebody else to buy the groceries, you're cool. But uh, uh, Gindy buys the groceries here, and of course I don't eat much, as you can tell. I, you know, gained a little bit of weight, but I'm okay. Anyway, listen, if you'd like to see me, uh, tune into the Hammy Show for one thing, but also, if you'd like to see more of me, please drop me an email over at seymourhamlet at gmail.com. That's the letter C, period, M-O-O-R-E, period, H-A-M-L-E-T, at gmail.com. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I got a Twitter, a Twipper, a Twip, a Twip, 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 I got that bird thing. Anyway, uh, so, that's a bird over there. Uh, anyway, it, 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 uh, you can tweet me at, uh, the, uh, that funny little hat sign thing, and then a capital letter C, underscore, capital M-O-O-R-E, underscore, capital H-A-M-L-E-T, and I thank you. Bye! This video made possible by Manian Double Productions.